Kat, and in this tutorial I'll show you how to make two different types of button jewelry. The first type is for your larger buttons. You can turn them into a statement pendant necklace like this one, or if you have a stone or any kind of pretty piece that has a hole in the center, you can use this trick for that. The second one is this small dangling button bracelet, and I used up all of my small buttons on this one. The best part about this project is most people I know have a little box somewhere where they've saved all their random spare buttons that they've gotten as extras with their garments. The garment is long gone and you still have the buttons and nothing to do with them, so this is a great way to use those up. Or if you don't have any buttons, you can get a large mixed bag of buttons at any craft store for about $3. For this project, you'll need jewelry pliers, wire nippers, round nose pliers if you have them available, buttons, clasps, eye pins or head pins, jump rings, and chain. Start by measuring your eye pin, head pin, piece of wire, and make sure it's about three times longer than the width of your button. If you're using a head pin, cut off the end like that. If you're using an eye pin, your loop is pre-made and you don't have to worry about this, but if you're using a head pin, grab the end, bend it over, then grab the inside of the loop bend the rest of the pin back in the opposite direction, and then close up the loop. Make sure your loop is large enough to accommodate the chain you're going to use for your necklace. Next, you'll want to hold it up to your button and leave a gap between the top of your button and the loop on the end. Then you'll want to grab your head pin at the point where it intersects with the hole on your button, and then bend the wire sideways to make sort of an L shape with the loop at the top. Next, you'll want to bend it again, and you'll want to bend it at such a place that it's going to accommodate the width of your button. Otherwise, you're going to snap your button in half. Next, slide your button onto the metal piece. You'll want the decorative side towards the end with the loop. Next, bend your wire piece with the loop over the top of the button, and then back up again so it's hugging the edge of the button. Then, bend your flat piece over, and begin to wrap it around the neck that you left between the button and the eye. You'll want to cut off any excess and then pinch that in with the pliers so you're not going to scratch yourself on it. And that is your finished piece. You're ready to put that onto your chain. I made several of these with random buttons. You can see buttons come in all different shapes, sizes, and textures, so you can really have fun with this. And once you've made that, you're ready to put it onto your chain. You'll want to put it on the chain and then attach your clasp and a jump ring at the other end so that it's not going to slide off. And that is your finished necklace. And now let's get started on the bracelet. Take a piece of chain that's going to fit around your wrist, attach a large jump ring at one end and a lobster clasp at the other using your smaller jump rings. And next, open up a whole bunch of your smaller jump rings and use those to attach your new button pendants to your bracelet. You'll just do that over and over and over again until you've gone completely around and you have something like this. And your jewelry is all ready to wear. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, remember to like, share, and subscribe.